Hi friends, welcome to Mad Series Day Two. Okay, friends, uh, you are going to get very good content here. Very good content in the form of both video discussion as well as the PDF content. If you really put efforts, it is very good opportunity for you to learn the answer writing in these sessions. There is no need for you to complain. Arey, I did not have the money for uh, to improving the answer writing skills. So please put effort. Question will be uploaded in the morning. Go through the question. Try to write answers. Then compare your answers with your peers, and then also see the synopsis as well as the video content discussion whenever it is uploaded. This will help you to improve your answer writing skills as well as the concept regarding that subject. But prime focus here should be to learn the answer writing skills. So now let's start our discussion of Mat series day two. Here, discuss the concept of the stem cells. It and its significance and challenges. Now, first, what I have to do? I have to identify the question tag. This is the discuss and this is the what. So, when I compare the discuss and what, what is a smaller question tag? So, I will give more weightage to the discuss. So, eighty percentage will be given for this and twenty percentage will be given this for this. And here again, you have the various steps in the question concept. This is one significance to. Three challenges. This is also very important thing that you need to do. Generally, what used to happen is I used to forget uh, in the exam one part or one dimension, and I used to lose marks. That is also one of the important thing that students do in the exam hall that you have to practice so that you don't do this thing in the exam. So before answering questions, always content is the key. So let's understand the content. So what are the stem cells and why they are important? See, stem cells means our body has multiple trillions of cells, right? But these cells have certain functionality. They can only you do that functionality. Our body will be going through various kinds of damages like bone, some kind of bone problem, muscle problem, and they recover by themselves, right? You don't add any kind of thing, cartilage issue. Now, how these things are happening? These are things happening because of the stem cells. But the stem cells which we carry today are the adult stem cells. That means you will be able to do only little function, little regeneration. Now, if I completely break this bone and take away this bone, your stem cell will not be able to do this thing. For suppose the lizard, they will be able to regrow their tail. So you are not in that position. Your adult stem cells are not in that position to regrow. But however, when you have born, you were initially a single uh, cell, okay, group of that bunch of cells that is called the zygote. From zygote, various differentiations has been happened, and today you have different types of the organ. And different types of the tissues, everything that has been developed from initially single cell, right? Single cell where half cells are, half gamete cells are coming from the mother and half uh, cells are coming from the father. That's how you will become a single cell, and then which got differentiated into the current form. And those kinds of cells which initially they are very primitive and differentiated into the all types of the organs which you currently have. And those types of cells are called the stem cells. And from those stem cells, where it can generate into almost anything, those are called as totipotent stem cells. So stem cells are the primitive cells that can be differentiated or developed into anything. But there are various types. Totipotency stem cells are those stem cells which can develop into almost anything. Currently, the adults will have the unipotent stem cells. Okay, somewhere in between these two things, we have other stem cells as well. Pluripotent, they can also develop into almost anything. But totipotent stem cells generally can even develop into the placental cells. Okay, this happens when uh, during your embryo stage. Okay, so these are the more primitive, and it can grow into almost anything. Later comes the pluripotent stem cells. So this is the concept of the stem cells. So what is happening here? The cells are developing into the different types of the functions. If you go with the totipotent stem cells, they can do almost anything. They can completely develop into the organs. But if you come to the unipotent stem cells, they can do only limited functionalities. Now humans. Through the research, they have identified what is the stem cells and the potential of the stem cells. Then they found, acha. So these stem cells uh, can be generated or produced in anything. Why can't we become like these lizards, where if tail is cut, okay, again tail is being grown. So why can't if human loses his hand, why can't those things can be regrown? So that's why people have uh, got these kind of thoughts and they have started to think in what way I can do. Now, so, now let's assume. So what is the significance? Now assume that I have got the heart problem. My heart is not healing it themselves. So my adult stem cells are not working. So if I give this, uh, create a new stem cells. So from the, uh, for, like from the embryo, if I just I'm saying from the embryo, if I uh, bring some kinds of uh, stem cells and use it for my heart, the regeneration of the heart can be very well done. Okay. Now let's assume this this embryo is yours. Okay, the person, another person. 
now your embryo from your embryo the stem cells are being generated and they are being used for the treatment of my heart but my heart will say are this person these are the different cells these are not your cells and they will try to attack you your heart okay uh, so this is causing the immunity immunity problem so why not i will take my own body in the second case in this case more advanced i told you we have the adult stem cells now through the research what they do what they did is through the research they can be made into the pluripotent stem cells through induced methods through some kind of techniques they have done the pluripotent stem cells from that you generate the heart cells and then you use it this is one way or the second way is when i was born it can be possible during the there will be umbilical cord right the the cord that is connected to the mother there will be blood in that in that blood there are stem cells those stem cells can be saved and from those stem cells okay there are again there are very uh, primitive cells these things can be fertilized and embryo can be developed out of these uh, these stem cells and from this embryo heart cells can be developed and again i can be transformed and if this embryo is left to grow it can develop into again one more life form but this embryo will be left to die it will not allow to grow here at one case i am getting the heart but in another case am i not killing the life form am i not killing the embryo so this is the ethical concern okay even in this case uh, when there is a donor we do the same thing here even in this case also we do the same thing how we pick up the stem cells from the other person so this is the uh, second advantage or third advantage okay, i am getting some kind of heart problems so stem cells are picked up picked from uh, from me and uh, in the lab a certain amount of uh, some primitive some DLR, little bit of heart cells were developed and various medicines are being tested on it overall later on a drug can be developed okay so in this way the drug that is more suitable for me can be developed more personalized medicine can be developed these days there is also one more advantage the stem cells together with the genetic engineering can also helpful in the treatment of the cancer like you might be knowing car t cell therapy T cells, T cells are those cells. They are uh, they are uh, they are fighting against the bacteria that is present, or else anti uh, gens that are present in the body. Something outside system that is entering in your system, they will be attacked by the T cells. Now, what happens in the cancer? Cancer is nothing but a uncontrolled growing of your cell. So it will become like a wound. So your cell is growing in an uncontrolled manner. But your T cells, which fights against any kinds of infection, they feel that this is your own cell only and they will not fight against a cancer cell. So now in this case, T cells will be removed from your body. That means your blood will be taken out. In these T cells, they will be modifying or using the stem cells, your T cells will be further strengthened to identify such kind of cancer cells and attack those cancer cells. So in this way, genetic engineering and stem cells can be together utilized to treat the cancer. And some there are also various kinds of genetic disorders genetic disorders like in case of sickle cell anemia in the sickle cell anemia the cells are sickled means they are not properly developed because of this thing your red blood cells are not properly developed especially uh, because of their sickled function of your red blood cells so because of this thing your blood is not being properly developed now using the stem cells i will uh, i will inject the stem cells in the patient and i will repair this genetic disorder to generate properly the sickle uh, to generate the proper complete cell for the development of the rbc cells so in this way genetic disorders can be done any kind of accidents happen any spine your spine is not responding okay now again i will use the stem cells to treat those kind of spinal cord injuries so all these are the applications now what are the challenges challenges are for suppose from the donor i have taken the heart cell development but my body will reject that is the immunity immunity rejection second thing like if i develop from my own body stem cells Again, I have to destroy the embryo. So, ethical uh, problems. They, these days, you might be seeing various commercial advertisements like use the stem cell to regrow hair, to become younger. So, all these things are faulty advertisements. Okay, uh, wrong information. Still, the stem cells are in the research stage. So, they are using this thing for the commercialization purposes. Such kind of commercialization is not allowed and still there are things are research. So, this kind of unethical commercial practices are also going on. Okay, and again, this is the most... Uh, uh, technical uh, thing that is still going on so in india case various guidelines have been released see here uh, the icmr along with the department of the biotechnology they have released various guidelines they have prohibited commercial stem cell banking and they have allowed the stem cell banking for the research purposes like like do i told you during the umbilical cord 
there will be certain cells which are stem cells these can be stored when you are born okay when you are born uh, so you will be having uh, that kind of umbilical cord connection with the mother right so uh, so this this umbilical cord has these stem cells and these things can be stored in the banks and later on if you get any kind of problems like heart problem lung problem these stem cells can be used to develop such kind of organoids or any kind of development of the disease drugs vaccines anything can be utilized using this stem cell okay for this ethical purposes it is allowed and also stem cells should happen research should happen only in proper regulatory oversight or it should not happen normally okay so various bodies are also involved in the research national center for biological sciences nash aims is there national institute of research in reproductive health and uh, there is also startups that are coming up and working with the department of biotechnology and the icmr so this is the status in the india so when you discuss with the, the application here you should give the heading significance always typically the question from the headings from the question significance of the stem cell technology then you discuss the challenges Okay, all the content that is required I provided here. I hope you guys like the content. If you are liking the content, please write and also share it with your friends and also comment in the sections if you are liking it. Okay, guys, take care. Bye bye.